One of the major aspects of our cardiovascular research is actually the metabolism, and more particularly, we were interested since many years in understanding the role of metabolism in the physiopathology of cardiovascular disease. And we try to join basic and clinical aspect of this research. Professor Ormand and I create a subgroup of the pool of cardiovascular research that aim to study platelet biology. Our initial observation was that AMPK actually control platelet shape during platelet aggregation and thrombus formation. And we demonstrate by this observation that the role of AMPK extends beyond the metabolism. After this publication, Sandrine and I have made two important observations. The first observation was that the AMPK signaling impact on lipid metabolism and lipid content into the platelet. And this change uh, induced by AMPK into the platelet will change platelet function and thrombotic process. The second observation was that in clinical situation, heterogenic environment has an impact on AMPK signaling and could serve as a biomarker of risk in patients. The goals of our future research concern two important topics. The first one is to better understand the role of lipid and lipid signaling in disease situation, including basic aspect and clinical aspect of this research. And the second goal of our research is to identify biomarkers that could uh, identify high-risk patients that need further therapies or high level of therapies in the future. Another major cardiovascular disease is cardiac hypertrophy. And my research group is particularly interested in the link between cardiac hypertrophy, AMPK, and metabolism, and particularly glucose metabolism. Glucose, which is the main contributor of energy for the heart, can be rerouted in other a particular pathway, which is called HBP pathway, producing a post transversal modification called oblignacylation. And oblignacylation is known to be increased during cardiac hypertrophy. We made two major observations in our group. First, this increase in oblignacylation can be reduced by activating AMPK via a pharmaceutical compound. And by reducing this oblignacylation, we are able to prevent cardiac hypertrophy development. Our future research will focus in the identification of oblignacylated proteins involved in cardiac hypertrophy development. We want to find new therapeutic approach to solve cardiac hypertrophy in humans.